You too. Okay. Here we are again. Uh. <clears throat> So, we're watching a streamer that I had once bragged about. This streamer here, uh, I had mentioned her before. She had, uh, we had talked to her on Twitch before, and now she is back um, on Kick. <sighs> of course, Kick is not as extreme with their stuff as Twitch is, but I'm gonna show you how to control it gets. And once again, men, this is the point of this video. I haven't done this in almost two months. Where I've showed a kick streamer. I mean, uh, showed uh, live streams um, of a hot tub streamer. But I just want to talk about it again because I still see the same things happening again. Man, we have gotten too lonely, way too lonely, to the point now where once again we're falling for the buffoonery. And I know some people get mad at me when it's like, well, let them get their money. No! No. If they, they, what they choose to do is what they choose to do, but I'm still gonna talk to the young men and the men who fall for these shenanigans. Just watching a girl show her butt cheeks and show her breasts off is not a reason for you to just give up every bit of your money. Look at what we are seeing now, guys. This is what we're seeing in the hot tub stream world of Kit. Look, this is what this is what we're living for. I think this is a VOD. But look, we're just watching at we're just watching girls once again put their booty cheeks on a camera, and then thinking that that's content and that's beautiful. That's something to behold. But guys, listen to me. It's not that great. It is just a way for you to be treated childlike. <coughs> People think that it's so cool. I mean, people think it's so uh, relieving to see a girl who's just willing to put her body out there like that. And I think this will get so many young men caught up is seeing a young woman's body put on display for them for free. I and mean, it's really not free, but you're paying for it. But at the same time, they think that it's, it's so great to see a girl squat. If you get, it's crazy because, and I hate to say it like this, but it's, 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 it's kind of, I mean, I guess we all kind of do it in some kind of way. But it is a, it is kind of an act. It's kind of like a circus, right? You give some money and the monkey does something for you, right? And that's what it is now. Women will be, look at $35 for a squat. I mean, $35 for a twerk, 10 subs, $30 for your, the name on the, the name on the mother fluffing body. You're going to pay 30 bucks to have your name put on some girl's body as if that makes you special. She will erase that and never remember your name for the rest of her life unless you give her more and more money. I, once again, I, I, I've said it before. I don't hate on these YouTube, these hot tub streamers. No, I'm not going to say I'm glad they're getting to the bag because I don't care about that. Will I say that I think they're worth more than this? Of course I do. I don't think a girl should have to get on stream, take off her shirt, or not take off her shirt, take off her pants, show her panties and socks and a shirt and her breast out to be successful in this streaming world. Some women get caught up and think that this is the way to go. It's the same thing we see with men when they do all the stupid antics. When I see men young men get on stream or they do stuff that is so extreme or they say stuff that is so extreme just to get clicks just to get validation look at this five gifted subs to get a shot of vodka it is not it doesn't make any sense to me for us to continue to push for this concept of let's just let's just make money let's just give women money or let's just give anybody money to be entertained you don't own these women and i think the more money you continue to give to them the more they truly believe the more they truly believe that this outside validation makes them better. You got more and more women who are deciding to go this route. Look at this. Look at this freaking girl right here. Look at what we're seeing, men. This is the problem. This is absolutely the problem. You are paying your top dollars. You're paying your $4.99. This is what I talk about all the time when you guys hear me say, go pay $4.99. This girl is getting paid $4.99 to show her butt cheeks because men are so enamored with her. And I think it's so sad that we continue to have to, um, I continue to have to go over this, but I do. 
and I, I I'm gonna say on my part foolishly I had thought it had slowed down but foolishly I'm stupid because I now realize that they have came over here to kick which we all knew that when we all came to kick we knew it was a matter of time because of the split with the money we knew it was a matter of time because of the money they would come over here but I want you to check out the kind of stuff we see this is the kind of stuff that's up that our young sisters our young women oh my god I, I can't even watch this it's disgusting and I can't move. <laughs> Let's just get through this. One sub equals squats, man. Five gifted subs makes it make it clap spanks. Ten gifted equals body oil arch. And I guess and that's what she's doing right now. Fifteen gifted for the name on the body. Fifteen gifted. That's fifteen times five. That's seventy five dollars to have your name on her body, and plus everything else. Twenty subs zoom five minutes. I guess she zooms you. And then topless with Pacey's, which she was doing earlier. This is what we're seeing. Look at the comments. It's whispering me again. God bless America. Uh, Got to get a wide stance uh, next time for some sub for white arch. Kind of looks like my mom. This is what we're seeing now. Now, Lily Stella, we, we, I don't think she really does. She's more of a talker from what I have seen. She's normally in just chatting. I'm surprised she's actually over here. Um, but she does the same kind of stuff like buy me this be my sugar daddy buy me this do this that and then men are just gonna clamor for it and I I, I, I want to say that men are just being simps but it's more than this now that's just an out I think these are young men I don't believe these are too many older men but it doesn't really matter too many of our men are falling prey for this and you know what this stuff is it's just the child like nature that comes with being in the porn world and being in this crazy world this woman right here who we had talked to on twitch before who i thought had given it up is now back on kick doing the same things lifting her dress to show her butt cheek she showed her breast earlier and had to stop the stream so she wouldn't get banned but she's doing in this young woman right here well last time we spoke to her she was drinking a lot and we had tried to i'm not going to say nothing to her now because whatever i'm not here to harass people but the point is we had had a whole conversation with her and she was drinking so much. Look at her house. Look, see, you obviously don't show the whole nipple on stream. That's bannable anywhere. You see, that's exactly what she just did. She had to stop her whole stream. But I want you to see again. One sub equals a name, sticker, art, one spank. One spank. Spank has become new. I haven't seen spank before. It was squats a couple months ago. Now it's about being spanked. Then a cat yoga pose. Don't know what that is. Uh, 10 subs is VIP, which is what you see on kick is one of the things you put on people um looks like this guy is one of them or woman 20 subs equals og and 90 sub and four spanks and then 50 subs equals mod and 90 sub for three months i had thought that this was starting to die out with the hot tub streams but it's not i stayed away from this for a couple months because i was just you know doing my own thing but it's just the same look at the house oh my god Look at what she's doing to herself. She's belittling herself and showing her breast for money. When we talk to her. It's ridiculous. Look at the comments. Do these sound like people who care about this lady? Uh, it is weird. Uh, I stare at her so much, but couldn't tell she didn't have a tattoo. Can you do a backflip? He's butt sunbed. So you're saying what we saw wasn't everything? She's trying to promote her OnlyFans. OF. You like playing with your titties. Right? Oh my goodness. They're talking to her like she's a freaking animal. They're talking to this young woman like she's a toy. That's what I try to tell you. Look at the guy at the bottom. Everyone loves boobs, pretty much. It's crazy, man. And I'm trying to tell you guys that these men and women don't care about these hot tub streamers. They simply want to see them do things for them like circus monkeys. And these women do it. It's ridiculous. And they think this is empowering, but it's not. You're just a object to these men. And I try to keep telling, and I kept trying to convey the message that we need to treat our sisters better than this. Oh my God, I don't want to see that. But we are trying to teach our women that they're worth more than this, but it gets impossible because it is a fight between ourselves. Not only do I, people like me, who have to fight against not only the women who think they're being empowered, I have to fight against the men who just tell me that they're getting a bag. It's so... It's so sad. 
and i know the majority of the men in there now there's gonna be some older men but i guarantee you the majority of the men in there are younger teenage boys up into their 25 28 year olds right unmarried men and it never stops people are paying to watch this kind of stuff one once again one sub five squats five dollars for uh oh a fit check uh ten dollars for kibbles I, I don't even know what that means i guess feeding that dog back there uh fifteen dollars for a follow back <laughs> twenty dollars for a make it make dance tiktok i think this is a vod by the way uh outfit change and mail a doodle fifty dollars to have her mail you a doodle you know i was watching a video earlier we're about to get out of here i just wanted to have a couple conversations here this is just just for you guys to see what's going on in this world again and how ridiculous I, i'm not even gonna go to that one even though the, the, the thumbnail I, I don't know i don't know i'm just i'm just not for it and one last one once again a girl just shows her butt the whole time five dollars i mean one dollar for yeah five dollars for five squats three get it for shake them butt cheeks five get it for name on the body i can't believe people pay for that you're uh, it's the same guy we saw in the other chat ninja 10 gifted 10 jumping jacks 15 gifted oil body 25 pasties top i don't need, i've never seen that i guess that's a kick thing i guess kick allows women to put pasties on their nipples um we're done we're, we're done watching any more videos i'm done i just wanted to show the 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 fall that we're having once again right too many of our young men are once again falling for the same trap and you know i'm to be fair this isn't hundreds of women over here if you go to twitch it's not hundreds of women in this category but at the same time it doesn't matter to me it doesn't matter to me one woman is too many we will talk about all these women when it comes to kick streaming right i'm kind of just sick of seeing our young women give up their bodies just for the sake of money just for the sake of feeling like they're empowered i even seen some women talk about how they believe that they're taking money from men when men are willing to give them the money it's, you're not taking it you're sexualizing yourself and men are seeing you as an object and you're doing what you what they tell you to do even the women who are like i don't do anything like i'm not gonna have sex i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do oral sex with him i'm not gonna do this blah. baby girl please listen you're still giving your body up see people think that if they're not having sex that it's not as bad if you're on a, if you're on a pole if you're on a twitch stream if you're on a kick stream if you're showing your body in a sexual way at all you're giving it up just because you're not physically having sex with the person on the other side of the screen doesn't mean you're not still giving yourself giving a piece of yourself away and then they want to date a guy or date whoever and then call them insecure if they don't like it and then call them the fool when honestly you're the fool you are giving away everything maybe the some of them try to be noble and be like i'm paying off my student i don't care i don't care you're paying off your student loans you're paying for no we don't do morally corrupt things to do a good thing i'm not gonna go out and sell dope in order to pay my rent i'm not gonna sell drugs to my people in order for me to pay my rent i can't justify that because it's not right i shouldn't be selling harmful poison to my brothers and sisters it's the same thing they're selling poison to these people because selling your body when it's not when you're not giving your body to your your spouse or your partner and you're giving your body away for money you're you're giving away poison to these people something that's going to turn them into an addict something that's gonna, they're, they're going to struggle with and you're going to be part of the problem not part of the solution okay i'm not saying that women I'm not saying that women obviously can't go outside if they have a great looking body but at the same time it doesn't even matter anymore women get surgery and they do anything and everything to make their body look just enough sexual for them to make money 
We just saw a girl lift up her dress to show her butt cheeks for a couple of dollars. These women are talking about putting their na your, your name on their arm for $50. Men, we can't become so depraved for sex that this is what it turns us into. And that's what truly is happening here. Let's be honest with it. It ain't really about the liking the girl. Let's not be dumb. Yeah, you might care about the girl a little bit, but at the same time, she's doing stuff for you sexually. Okay, let's be real. Let's be real for a second. Stop the nonsense. You're literally giving her $5 for her to shake her booty. She puts in there $5, five subs, which is $25. I'm going to shake my booty. For how long? You're going to pay $25 to watch a girl shake her booty for what? T two minutes? T three minutes? She ain't shaking it for more than two to three minutes. That I can promise you. Because it's a tease. It's the same thing when girls say, I'm going to do squats for you. It's a tease. And it's just a tease to get you normally over to her OnlyFans, where she's going to show you this. And she's going to maybe open her legs and maybe use this, maybe use that. And then she's going to tease you in a in, in a DM and say, hey, if you want to get an exclusive content of me saying your name while I'm doing all this, $100. It's, guys, it's, it's always going to be more and more. You'll never get enough. Next thing you know, you're spending $500 a month on silliness. I'm not going to lie. Um, some days I do get discouraged. This is always a hard, hard battle to fight every single day. And I don't talk about porn and hot. I haven't talked about hot tub streamers in a while. I talk about them, but I haven't showed them on my stream in a while. But it's hard to do this day in and day out. I can't, I can't lie to you. When I get off camera sometimes, man, it's just like, man, am I even making any difference? Because obviously these people are going to get more viewers than I am. And sometimes it's hard to put myself out there and make these videos and these live streams because I know I need to be entertaining and I know I need to do all of this stuff to get all these viewers be verified and blah, blah, blah. But I, I can't. I just can't give up what I'm trying to do. My job is to educate and go through the same battle with you guys. I don't battle out here i don't tell you guys to go to battle while i'm not going to battle myself when i'm not on stream and i'm not doing stuff i have to battle y'all saw what we were just looking at we were watching a girl bent over you don't think this is hard for me to see that's why i look away sometimes it's hard i want us to go to battle together it's a battle for both of us and that's the only way i can find any happiness when i on our live stream it's the only way i can find any happiness when i make videos now, sometimes we get here, we have a good smoke and everything, but that's just me being a friend. But I cannot truly live with myself and die. I cannot, I would hate to die and be like, man, all I did was just give up. I just let these women and everything and I just, I just gave up and I let, you know, because it's hard because I, if, if I ever did get bigger, right, I'm obviously going to face a lot of backlash and that's still going to be hard. I know people are going to. I know if I talk about these women on Hot Tub Stream, there'll be a time that they're going to make a video on me and say, oh, he's fat or he's short or he's a loser. He ain't never had a girl. He don't get pussy. He don't blah, 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 blah. <coughs> and some men, then young men are really going to be like, oh, yeah, you're right. He doesn't get sex. So let's listen, not listen to him. Let's listen to Big Boo Blonde here and let her show her tits for me for $55. No. <sighs> let's, what was it said? I don't hate these women. I don't hate people who do a hot tub streams. I don't hate men who do OnlyFans. I don't hate women who do OnlyFans. What I hate is what it does to them. It gives, it makes them give their body away for just a few shekels. And people think millions of dollars. To me, that's still a few shekels. You know, obviously that's life changing money, but what is it? I'm just gonna be honest. It, this is only for the people who made it this far into the video. A million dollars isn't worth your soul. I'm sorry. It just never will be. A million dollars isn't worth the cost of what it's really going to take. Obviously, you can be redeemed and all that, but you never know if it's too late. Because people think they can always make it back. Oh, I'll show my body for this amount of time and then I'll give it up in five years. You don't know that. You might not give it up for 20. Because when you get into this world of sex and porn and evil, it's hard to make it back. It's hard to make it back. Go ask anybody who's been addicted to pornography. Go ask anybody who's been addicted to sex. Ask them how easy it is to just stop and give it up for the rest of their life. You don't. 
you you fight it every single day you may have to go to meetings go to counseling make phone calls you have to do everything in your power and battle it every single day for the rest of your days when that money stops coming and you made your million dollars from OnlyFans, which is almost nobody's gonna make that except for very few and even those women who will come out eventually and be like i regret it but nonetheless you make your few million dollars you think you're just gonna be able to go back to regular life you think you're gonna be able to go back to work at a nine to five no your soul is gonna be tied to what you've given up that's what people don't understand the body the mind and the tongue those are so powerful when you give up your body for just money, it does something to you. That's why you see some of these people get drunk on stream. They smoke weed on stream. They get high. They may take stuff off stream. That's why you see porn stars get so heavily into drugs. It's not normal and you can never make it normal. We will never allow it to be normal. I don't care if I'm one of the few who's standing up by myself for 30 years and everybody's saying he's stupid, he's an idiot. I don't care. It ain't worth your soul. And I, 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 I will continue to talk about this, even though it's draining for me. I don't care. And it helps me keep my integrity. Because when I get off this stream, obviously, I have to go through life like you do. I have to get on social media. I have to see certain things. And I have to just watch stupid stuff on YouTube, man. Because if I let myself just sit here and think long enough, I am going to want to look at porn. I am going to want to look at girls. I'm going to want to do that. Because it's been ingrained in me since I was a child. Get the booty. At, by any means possible back in the day growing up and i'm not old but just when i was growing up it wasn't give money to women like this on OnlyFans. you paid for the porn sites this is when porn wasn't free like it is back then you had to pay for it you only got you know we know what it was 30 second clips you paid and then you paid some money to watch full time videos and then Pornhub and all mind geek came along and made all these porn sites that are full strength right full length and then they started putting ads on a website, kind of like YouTube does and Instagram. And they made money that way. You get 4 billion people a year and everybody's watching those ads. People are going to pay for those ads because people are going to click on them. Who's going to click on them? Most likely children. Children are most likely going to click on those ads. Okay. And so, and they may get sucked in and then end up spending some money. And so it's all a money game. And they're using you guys for fools. And they're using me as a fool. That's gonna be the battle for the rest of my life, but I'll tell you, it's the only, this is one of the few reasons, obviously God, but also this is one of the reasons I get up every day. This is one of the few things that makes me happy every day. As much as it sucks and it sucks to talk about, and I see so many men fall, and I've seen myself fall, and I just I, it, it's it's so disheartening to watch what is happening to our children and stuff like that. It gives me reason. I want to die for what God has called me to do. And this is the hill I'll die on. Whether that be tomorrow, that could be a couple hours from now, I don't know. But I know that if I don't do it, I'm already dead. If I don't put myself out there every day and talk about the harms of the sexual freedom that we're that is trying to sweep America, if I don't choose to really get involved, I'm already dead. I've already given up my soul to the world because I've given up. Peace.